Good morning, guys. Welcome to City Girl Gardening. I am D, your City Girl Gardener. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, first off, I want to start by telling you guys that I did a thing on last week. Uh, last week, I ordered more chicks to increase my yield on eggs. Um, if I want to have the egg supply to feed my family as well as provide eggs to people out in the community that would like to purchase eggs and give some to my family outside of home, um, I'm going to have to have more chicks. Um, so, last week I ordered more chicks. I went online um, to um, track the supply. And um, I ordered more chicks. Um, I did do the variety package that has brown um, egg laying chicks as well as white egg laying chicks um, in their different breeds. Uh, all of the breeds are uh, friendly, they're docile, um, they do like to forage, so they will fit right in um, with my older hens that are outside. Um, because they are chicks and it is winter time. Um, they are going into a brooder. Um, I did a DIY brooder. So I want you guys to follow me along as I finish this brooder. Um, according to my order last week, the chicks were not uh, supposed to be delivered until tomorrow. However, I got a call from the post office this morning saying that the chicks had arrived and that I need to pick them up from the post office. So, um, I am finishing up my DIY brooder box for the chicks because they will have to be in the brooder box until they have gotten their full feathers and they're big enough to go outside with the other hens. Uh, if I put them out there with the hens right now, of course the winter, um, it will kill them because they're not old enough, big enough to um, handle the cold as well as the bigger hens out there will peck them and cause them a lot of harm and even kill them. So they have to stay in the brooder box indoors until they're big enough to go outside. Follow me along my journey this morning. I'm excited. I'm rushed to finish this brooder box and get everything right for them before I pick them up from the post office. So follow me along. Welcome back. I'm here at the local post office and I have picked up the chicks. You guys hear that? They are in this box and I know they are ready to get out of this box. So we're going to get these babies uh, to the house and checked out and put into the breeder box where they have um, a nice warm environment. I left the heat lamp on as well as their food and water has been placed inside i am going to get them home get them checked out and into their breeder box so continue to follow me along all right guys i have made it home with the chicks um this video is going to be all over the place because i'm telling you i was not expecting the chicks to come today they were scheduled to come tomorrow so I have to had to rush to get the breeder box ready, get over to the uh, post office, as well as get these chicks here, get them checked out, and get them over into the breeder box. I'm sitting here on the floor in our pantry where they will be um, in their brooder box. Uh, I can see that the, I can feel the bottom part of the box um some wet or moisture or something came from somewhere so they may have some water and things oh look at them and this is 10 of them in here i'm gonna have to show you guys let me bring the camera take a look there are the babies in here this is a mixed variety of um chicks these chicks will um they are some are brown egg layers as well as some are white egg laying birds. I do see that I have some chicks that are going to be black. I wanted some black chicks this time around. 
I didn't get any more of the uh, white leg horn, which could have been a variety that was included in this mixed um, batch of chicks. However, I can't remember all of the names of them, but I know that I have some of the Bluff Opington birds, which are really pretty uh, golden fluffy birds. Um, they're more of a golden tan kind of color, but they're real pretty. And then I do know that I have some of the um, Blackbird. I can't remember them right off, but they're in here as well. And then I did want some of the um, Long Island um the red long island birds or long island red however you say it um i wanted some of them as well to give me that dark chocolate brown they'll look different than my girls that are already out there um but this is a a blend of um white eggs egg layers as well as uh brown that one's they're trying to jump they look like they're all in good health they are bunched up because I can tell that they are cold. So I am going to get them over here into their brooder with the heat and the water. I'll have it all fixed up for them. I want you guys to check them out. Look at here. Look at here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at here, the baby. Yeah, here. They're all moving around. Um, they seem to be okay eyes are open they're looking they've gotten into the brooder i left it and made sure that it would be nice and warm for them look at here another one of my little black birds i don't know how they're gonna look because chickens change drastically so i hope that they do stay uh, these two are snuggled up. They're cold, I can tell. They're chirping. They're ready to get out of there. Yeah, yeah. Look. Cute. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten. I have ten birds um, for sure. This was their um, package. I thought they said that they would get them have food for them, but evidently maybe not. Um, however, there's food in there. Um, but this is what they were packaged in. I don't know what I was expecting the packaging to be, but. Uh, they're packaging that. They were good uh, down in there up. And I do have something down in the bottom of the box. Um, okay, they got a little card here. They're saying that this is Immune Glow Daily Water Additive with oregano and thyme, some essential oils, prebiotics, and electrolytes. So this is another um, probiotic that I can put into their water. Um, and it looks like they may sell this at the tractor supply. So I'm going to have to take a look into it and uh, look at some good reviews and stuff on it. And um, determine if this is something that I will uh, purchase in the near future for the hens outside as well as for the chicks that I have here. Um, I'm going to let you guys see what they're looking like in the brewery box. But this is, uh, I purchased these from Tractor Supply, which they get them from the Hoover Hatchery. This was a mix of um, brown egg layers as well as white egg layers. Um, I have their uh, brooder box filled up. Um, it says that this should be it should be between 105 to um, 95 degrees, being the lowest. 
uh, within the next few hours. Um, they have plenty enough space in here. Um, they're being fed their crumble um, chicken chick starter grow, so I'm not um, worried about that. They have wood shavings, and it says it says that I do need to get them used to the uh, water, so they know where water is, and dip their beaks into the water. So I will definitely do that. Um, they are, we have one that is chirping away. They do seem to be a little cool, so I may lower the light, the heat light, uh, to get them warm, get them a little warmer, because I definitely want them to be, um, get acclimated to their new environment. Uh, they've been shipping and shipped all around, so I am going to dip their beaks into the water, um, get their heat source lowered a little bit more on them and so that they can get moving around in here. They've been in that box, a little cramped up space, not having much room to move, um, but we are gonna get them settled all in. Thank you guys for tuning in to City Girl Gardening. I will get a video um, and just kind of let you see inside the brooder, brooder, uh, brooder box and see how they're doing.